Hello, my name is Anya, and today we will add checkbox functionality to our Flutter Flow application. So we have a list of tasks, and we will allow the user to check and uncheck those tasks. Here I have a data type tasks with a name as a string field and then completed as a Boolean field. Here in our data manager, we can see that I added some tasks directly into the database with various completed and then names. Now let's display these. Right now I have a checklist with just a column and inside this column, I want to add a list view. I'm going to actually move over to this view because I can drag and drop and I think that's easier. So I'm going to drag in a container. Let's make this of height 50. And then the width can be 100% of the screen. Now within this container, I don't want a text. I actually first want a row. And this row is going to house our text, but then also a toggle icon. So I'm going to just going to drag in. Let's just add 10 pixels of padding on our toggle icon and then 10 pixels on our text. I'm going to go back here so I can click on our list view and let's dynamically update it. So I'm going to do a query collection and I'm going to get all of the tasks from the database. This is just saying that it's going to make multiple children and we can see that it has been duplicated. Now this text is just reading static hello world, but we want to make it dynamic. So I'm going to grab the task document. Flutterflow generates these lists of tasks and assigns one to each of these elements in the list view. And then we can grab that from here and display its name. And I suppose it won't let us preview it without configuring this toggle icon. So let's do that right now. Essentially, we want this icon to be able to toggle between this task being completed and it not being completed. The toggle icon by default is this square and then a checkbox, which is honestly exactly what we want. So I'm not going to change that, but we are going to dynamically set the toggle value. I'm going to click on the task document. The toggle is going to be based on whether or not this task is completed. And that's all I need to do. Let's preview this. And we can see that these three are currently already checked, but then we can uncheck them and keep changing this accordingly and it's all working exactly how we want. So I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching and check out my video on how to add a progress bar to this. I'll link it in the description box below.